Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna continue on with the book reviews that I've been doing, but this week, I'm not gonna talk about a fitness book. I'm gonna change direction a little bit, and I'm gonna talk about a book that I recently started reading. I really like it. Now, this is an engineering book. Technically, it's mathematics. A lot of people will be familiar with this book, or excuse me, this uh, topic, if you're a software engineer or you're in the engineering field. This book, in particular, we can zoom in right here. Essential Discrete Mathematics for Computer Science. Really fantastic. And what this is, is it's a simplification of a lot of the concepts people need to know to do mathematics for computer science. You hear people talk about algorithms, getting ready to you know, start training yourself on algorithms or understanding them. A lot of people lay that foundation by understanding discrete mathematics. Certainly if you're a computer science student and you're taking this as part of a course for an undergraduate degree or a graduate program, Almost everyone has to take discrete mathematics at some point. Finally, if you're not a software engineer, you're not trying to get into that field, discrete mathematics really lays the foundation for a lot of what people call uh, first principles thinking or thinking in you know, first principles, using mental models. I would kind of consider discrete mathematics as you know, the granddaddy of all mental models. Discrete mathematics underlies a lot of the ways that we look at the world and reason about things in the physical world. Uh, so this is kind of like the ultimate uh, first principles viewpoint of the world. In my point of view, that's why I really like discrete mathematics. I was fortunate enough to take some of this, some of discrete mathematics when I was uh, starting in computer science. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a super interesting subject and the books for this subject are absolutely terrible. Most discrete mathematic books, um, they begin with an explanation of the concepts and then they quickly devolve into you know, all of the different rabbit holes and edge cases that different types of problems uh, include. And oftentimes for the beginning student like myself, they're a little bit overwhelming. So many of the textbooks in this field particularly are super overwhelming. Uh, especially if you're not a mathematician, you have a major in math and it's not a massive part of your life. So what I love about this book is it's written in a way such that almost anyone can understand it. You can pick up this book even if you don't have a background in mathematics and start to understand some of the mathematics uh, that, that computer science is based off of. So this book, it was written by Harry Lewis and Rachel Sachs. You can see right here on the back, Harry Lewis was the, <laughs> excuse me, Harry Lewis it was the Gordon McKay Professor of Computer Science, former Dean of Harvard College at Harvard University, and Rachel Sachs was, I believe, one of his students. She's now a software engineer at Google. But really fantastic, they came together to write this book, which in my opinion is one of the most pragmatic, or the most pragmatic books I've ever seen on discrete math for computer science. I kept eyeing this particular book on Amazon. I can't believe it still doesn't have a review. I might have to jump on there and be the first person but it's really fantastic and now I'll actually start to review the book. So what it does is it breaks down the subject into I believe 31 very small chapters. So the average chapter length is about 10 pages. This is already a huge difference from most discrete mathematics books. Most books on discrete mathematics have chapters that are anywhere from 20 to 50 pages, super tiny text, very difficult to read and what you'll see with this book is that while the text is not massive, it's very well formatted, very concise, barely takes up three-fourths of these pages, uh, and each chapter at only about seven to 15 pages makes it really reasonable to learn one concept at a time. So this idea of one concept at a time is another reason I really like this book. It breaks down all the essential discrete mathematics topics and it gives you them in as small little bite-sized chunks as possible. So some of the big topics it covers that you'll be familiar with if you've taken discrete math are things like pigeonhole principle, basic proofs, mathematical induction, strong induction, sets, relations and functions, uh, and the list goes on and on. These are things you'll be familiar with but are generally presented in larger sections of a textbook that include a bunch of these mixed together with a lot of the very particular edge cases mixed into basic examples and it makes it super difficult. What this does is it takes each concept, splits it out so that it's introduced individually and then it gives you the simplest 
uh, case of the type of problem you're looking at and then slowly builds on detail from there. So like I said, it's one of the only books I've found that gets into a good amount of detail for most of these subjects, but it starts with an explanation that is at a level you can understand even if you don't have a background in any type of discrete mathematics. So anyway, if you're interested in learning mathematics, brushing up on it, if you're you know, maybe a software engineer or someone that just enjoys learning this type of stuff but you don't have a huge background in it, or you're someone that wants to understand some of the underlying theories behind the way that computational, uh, computa <laughs> computation is structured, how computers software operates, and you know, some of the underlying mathematics behind computer algorithms, this is an amazing book to start with. So again, this is Essential Discrete Mathematics for Computer Science. Uh, finally, if I said anything that was completely off during this video and you're a mathematician and you wanna punch me in the face, uh, I completely understand. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already so that you're notified anytime that I come out with a new video. And if you like these reviews, make sure to comment below letting me know, you know what book you like, what's your favorite uh, math book, and then uh, what else you'd like to see in further videos. So as always, thank you guys for watching.